Hey, a very good Sunday to you. I'm CNY Central First Alert Meteorologist Matt Stevens. Our almanac numbers typically this time of the year. 33 degrees is our typical high temperature, and uh, we're looking for a high temperature that will once again be below that today. We only hit a high yesterday in the upper teens, and we're going to end up, I think, in the ballpark of that same number that we hit for a high yesterday today. Upper teens, low 20s, which is going to be over 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. 17 degrees is our typical low. We were below that once again this this morning. Typically, again, we're bottoming out near 17. Many of us bottoming out sub zero. I know our friends down in Ithaca, for example, were uh, certainly sub zero early on this morning. We get those official numbers in, of course, later today. But the point is, we're all on the chilly side again. 59 degrees, a record high remains safe. That was set back in 1925. Minus 24 is the record low. That also stays safe. That was set back in 1934. Sunrise 710, sunset 528, and yesterday, nothing new officially picked up snowfall-wise at the Syracuse-Hancock Airport. It should be noted that just after midnight, many of us picked up a, a trace or a minor coating of snow uh, late, late last night into early this morning. So many folks waking up to a minor coating of snow didn't amount to much, as we suspected would be the case. There just wasn't a lot of oomph with that particular little wave of energy and moisture scooting through. So a little closer look at our snowfall situation. We would typically have about 84 inches of snow by this point of the season, and we have about 79 inches. So we've got about a deficit of five inches or so. So we're about five inches below average for this time of the snowfall season, but we still have more snow than we did last year at this time. Here's a day cast to get you through today. Any breaks of morning sunshine will give way to thickening clouds and we're into area wide snow and snow showers midday and into this afternoon are high up around 21 degrees. It's over 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Here's our future cast, which I think grabs this system fairly well. Midday development, early afternoon development of the area wide snow could be good for a couple of inches of snow heading through this evening. Mostly cloudy skies, area wide snow tapering off to some localized lake effect snow showers and flurries. Latest indications are on northwest winds, this may be just west and south of Syracuse. We'll see how that plays out, but as I currently see it, just west and south of Syracuse. Through the day, Monday, scattered lake effect snow showers and flurries, including the greater Syracuse area. And that continues Monday night and even through most of the day Tuesday as well. So hour by hour through this morning, 17 degrees by 11 o'clock, becoming mostly cloudy after a few limited breaks of morning sunshine. Area wide snow developing midday and through this afternoon. 21 degrees are projected high, traced to a couple inches of snow possible area wide by the end of today. Heading through this evening, area wide snow beginning to taper off. Then we're into some localized lake effect snow showers and flurries. Again, primarily west and south of Syracuse. So area wide traced to an inch from that area wide snow that tapers off then highly localized two to five inches possible within this deep blue shading and again highly localized indicating that not everybody sees five inches of snow in this particular range but the point is the potential is there depending on precisely where that lake effect band sets up here's the seven day forecast 13 degrees are low for tonight, 21 blustery chilly degrees for Monday. Lake effect snow showers and flurries continue southeast of Lake Ontario, I believe including the greater Syracuse area. That continues Monday night at 7 degrees, chilly one on Tuesday, 17. Lake effect snow southeast of Lake Ontario slowly tapering, 28 degrees for Wednesday.